Good evening, friends. Uh, evening here, anyway. It is 12-2-2021, uh, and this is vlog day six. Today, it's all about Git. Uh, git, Git, Git. Something I know nothing about. So, um, today was a bit overwhelming for me, information-wise. I took my time, um, violated my rule, and spent more than an hour. But I did get through both of these sections. Um and uh so let's just jump into it so the introduction to git is is here it, it kind of goes through tells you about it um tells you about how it how it functions like a save bun button essentially on steroids but uh as you go through some assignments um here is it asks you to read a couple sections in this um web book um I don't know if I have that up. Um, anyway, um, it goes into that, and then it starts talking about, yeah, it's right here. Um, sorry about that. So um, getting started about version control, um, it's a really good article for someone like me who had zero knowledge of Git and then and, and, uh, consequently get github on top of that but um, it talks talks about like the different types of VCSs a server a local v uh, uh, version control system that exists on your computer um, <clears throat> uh, a distrib distributed version um, which kind of look like a network to me it's more I recognize that more um, and then it goes on to talk about um, a short history of Git, uh, how it got started, the workflow of Git, and how it's different than um, other companies out there who have um, competitive um, products that compete in the Git market. Um, like, uh, I think it mentions a couple other ones. I've never heard of any of them, but uh, um, uh, Subversion and Perforce is a couple that I kept mentioning in the article and that gets different um, but it takes snapshots I'm familiar with that concept because like we talked about in the previous vlogs um, I showed you how to do snapshots in virtual machines so I'm familiar with that concept but this is way different um, this is cool though I got a lot out of it um, and then this is starting to talk about the command line basically get comfortable using the command line with git because it's a lot more powerful they do have a GUI um, graphical user interface for the, for those that don't know what GUI means but uh, basically they have a web you know like a web version or a gra desktop version but the command line is where it all lives at and that's where it's most powerful and most simple to use um, and simplest excuse me um, and then uh, it had you stop at 1.4 so and then there was another article that talked about how to write a git commit message and it's a really long article I won't go into it but it in great detail but it does a great job of it, it's all about context and writing great <coughs> great commit messages <coughs> and um, like here's an example of uh, a body and they talk about the um, this uh, I think it's five yeah seven uh, rules for great commit messages and um, it uh, you know se separate subject line from body with a blank line limit your subject line to 50 characters capitalize the subject line don't put a period at the end of the subject line use imperative mode in the subject line um, mood, imperative mood meaning um, uh, and then wrapping the the body in 72 characters uh, because it naturally git won't word wrap so you have to do it manually um, with I, I'm assuming carriage returns I didn't go over that in super great detail and then using the body to explain your what why and how um, this is all new to me um, I'll learn this as I go I'm sure but um, um, in the articles even in the the modules even say it's okay if you feel a bit, a bit overwhelmed right now you'll get the basics of get down and using them you know as you use them on your projects um, uh, but this is this is a very in-depth article um, and it goes through each and every one of those sub subheadings 
and goes into a deep dive on it. <clears throat> uh, and I get uh, commit messages are really important for you when you go back to your project and look at it you know six months from now or a year and you don't remember anything and you can use this to jog your memory at certain places of where you updated it and also for if you're working on a team for other developers to look at your code as well and they can read your comments to make sense of it in case uh, you're not there or you've moved on from the company or whatever um, and so there's a couple of supplemental videos in the module that they have you watch and they have you set up git if you haven't already done that which you should have already done it in a previous lesson and then um, they have you look at the githubs repo and um, look at their um, just as an example looking at their uh, not sure why I won't go but anyway uh, looking at their different um, contributors there's like 50 5,000 contributors and like 59,000 commits when I looked at it. It's pretty impressive. So it is a well-established, well-supported uh, project in community. Uh, additional resources, knowledge check, and then the next lesson, um, what is going on here? Sorry, guys. Okay. Browser's acting up. Um, again, I'm inside my VM, so that might be a little bit of a of the issue here because I'm running inside my virtual machine but I'm on my host so it might be a little laggy or something um, and this goes into the git basics um, it, it go, one, runs you through an assignment uh, start to finish creating a git, a git branch uh, defining your git branch main um, making sure your versions correct and then um, it takes you through how to create a repo on GitHub, and then um, and then pull that get that repo down locally um, after you create a folder called repos. Um, you make a directory, and then you get clone, and you pull it down. Um, what you just made on GitHub, and then you go through have you um, verbose go through um, creating a uh, a. Uh, uh, this one is not creating yet. This is just um, showing it's reporting out remote. It's showing the uh, where you fetch fetch and push at on your origin to make sure that's set up correctly. And then it has you create a hello world text file locally, and then it has you do a git status. I did all this already on command line, but uh, uh, no need to show it because it's right here on the screen. But it goes through that and it show it tells you that the when it's read it means it hasn't been committed and it hasn't put in been staged yet and you and you um, when you stage it it goes green um, like this right here by running the um, get add command and then it has you um, go through and do a few more statuses to check it out and then has you um, show logs which shows what you've done um, get log there's the add hello text because uh, we did do a commit one of the other screens above that I just kind of flew through, um, which was yeah, git commit, and then you add your com there's your comment that we talked about before, and then it adds it up there, and then the git status will tell you that there's nothing to commit working tree clean, meaning there's currently nothing on your local machine that's different than than what's um, been um, pushed to commit. Nothing's been pushed to GitHub yet. I had to learn that though. I thought that was one of the same, but it's not. So when you do your commit, that's you push it up to GitHub, and then it's completely done after that phase. And that, and then down here it shows code dot. When you're doing, when you've run that code space dot inside your Git test, it'll actually bring up your VS Code with your files opened. That's pretty cool. Um, so you can just uh, edit them from there and save them. And then it has you go back to the command line and um, um, do a git status to show that that file you just edited is read again, which means that it's got a it needs to be committed. It's got to change, so you got to do the git add, run the git add, and then it goes green like that, showing it's staged and ready to go. And or you can do uh, git add space period to add all the Instead of doing them one by one, it'll add all the files and uh, directory structures that are inside of the, your 
git test folder or wherever you're sitting your whatever folder you're sitting in it will add all those automatically which is pretty sweet and then um, and then after that you go ahead and uh, do uh, a commit m again it's just editing you're putting in that message file the um, the you know the uh, commit message excuse me and then um, and then here's just going over the logs again just being very verbose about it and then this last parts uh, pushing it to github and then you do that by git push you just type that in because um, you're already in the folder so it's gonna go ahead and push everything up that's inside that folder that it sees as, as uh, committed and ready to go that's and it doesn't see it in, in github so it'll update it and that's it and then um, it basically says you can it's it's done there's nothing to commit working tree clean mean meaning everything's good to go so then it has you go out which I did all this already go out to github and refresh the page to see that you have three commits and it, for me it was like six minutes ago or whatever um, but just showing you that it did in fact go up uh, push up to the github and then here's a cheat sheet going over uh, you know all the uh, major commands um, that you need to know and it was just saying talking about best practices atomic commits and saying basically this is the basic workflow and not to get overwhelmed and that just these are the most important ones to remember here to memorize if you will and you'll get them by repetition of, of working through the projects and that's about it so try to uh, run through this quickly even though it I'm over 11 minutes already but um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, my brain is full today. I, I learned a lot. I, I didn't realize Git and GitHub were were that involved, but it's it's uh, it's cool. Um, I'm ready to uh, uh, keep learning and move on to the next stuff, which will be uh, introduction to HTML CSS, which uh, I have worked on before. You know, on that other project I was talking about when I first started the vlogging. Um, so I'm not new to HTML and CSS. I'm just not very good with it. But so we're starting all over. I'm, I'm going to assume nothing and, and I have no knowledge with it and we'll start from scratch. So that's all for today. Uh, again, it's 12-2-2021 uh, and this is day six. Have a good evening, everybody. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.